Okay, we just have enough time for each of you to follow up with Jim's question about your choice, who you think is going to win. Let's, uh, let's start with you, Frank. We're going to put you on the spot. Yeah, I think if, uh, I think McCain is probably well ahead now and probably going to win the nomination. Uh, and one of the things that will drive his campaign down this next couple of months uh, is that he probably, according to the national polls, is the only competitive candidate. Uh, he runs even with Obama. So I've seen some polls where he's one or two points either ahead or behind Hillary. Uh, he has the ability to attract independents uh, and thinking Democrats to vote for him. <laughs> and, uh, so I think, <laughs> I know, I had to put it. So I, so I think that that, that, that you know, that there's an inevitability. Everyone wants to be on the side of the person they think is going to win. And I think that will carry it. I mean, I have not seen a poll where Romney or Huckabee are within 15 points or 16 points. Of, and I, so I think that's what will lead him probably to win the nomination. Uh, I tell you what, if you'd asked me a month ago or two months ago, I said no one's going to beat Hillary. I mean, this yesterday was a big victory for Obama. Press hasn't played it up. You got to look. Carefully, it's like going through a poll. You got to go through the cross tabs. He won Connecticut, Connecticut, and he won Missouri. I mean, those were really big wins. Going into that, most of us in Washington who live and breathe this stuff said, if she comes out about 200 electro or delegates ahead or more, it's a big night for her. Uh, if he can keep it around 100 or below. It's a big night for him, and I think it came out, he was trailed by about 85, so it was a very big, big night for him. And he really closed. He, he cut into her margin among women voters. He's done tremendously well among white men. Uh, so it's very interesting. His problem, however, is Hispanic voters. Hispanic voters will not vote for black candidates. Historically, they haven't done it. And part of the job that, that Teddy Kennedy is trying to do is he's going into those Hispanic communities and trying to, because they love the Kennedys, JFK, and trying to crank it up. Whether it's successful, it wasn't successful in California. I think he ended up, she ended up with more than two thirds of the Hispanic vote. And so his problem going forward here is in those states where there's a large Hispanic population, he's got to broaden his base and, and cut into that. Uh, if, it's, if it's Hillary and McCain, uh, be a very close race. I think it'll be a very close race. Uh, and, uh, and I think a problem for her will be to energize those young voters uh, and black voters who are really cranked now. Uh, if it's Obama, I don't know. I, I'll just tell you, I told the journalism class I saw today, if you have not seen his YouTube presentation of his campaign, I brought in to my office, one of my daughters sent it to me yesterday, and I brought in one of very, my in-house Republican pollsters, excuse me, lobbyist, really knows the Hill, hard work. He sat down, he watched that. He turned to me afterward and says, I don't want any part of this guy in November. So who knows? He brings a whole breath of fresh air into this, and I don't know what would happen. I hate to disappoint, but I'm not going to tell you. Nobody can sit here today and tell you who's going to win the presidency. I didn't say I just, just, I was predicting, no, no. telling you <laughs> what I thought might happen if a lot of things happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just not. I don't predict who's going to win races. John has in the past. I, I just don't for one thing. Well, I won't give you all my excuses. I'm just not going to predict. But I do I do want to say to plug my newspaper tomorrow, the Reader Gazette Journal. Um, you can read about this issue with the Latino voters, and I think that's been proven that it's actually a bit of a fallacy, no disrespect to say that Hispanic voters will not vote for a black person. Um, that, that's been just proven in many races. I um, can't name them off the top of my head at this moment. Um, but there are a lot of different dynamics at play there, and um, I think the I Obama, right. right. Obama won Hispanics in Connecticut, and he won Hispanics in um, his home state of Illinois. His whole argument, and of course this could be spin as, well it is spin, is it, and you hear this from every candidate, once they get to know me, they're really going to like me here at Senator Clinton say that, but, but it is, it is. Um, Hispanic voters are known to be brand loyal, and, and marketing studies have kind of proven this, and Hillary Clinton is a very known pot quantity to them. Bill Clinton's a very known quantity, and so they're, they're gravitating, gravitating towards Hillary Clinton. Um, not to say that there are absolutely no racial tensions there to, to be overcome, but um, I, I think it is a fallacy to say that they absolutely will not vote for a candidate. 
Uh, can I tell a real quick uh, vice presidential story, just and then, then I'll give it a little bit? Because it's a Frank Ferenkopf story, and I have to tell this. This, this is when I, uh, th this one I was a Cub rep political reporter in 1988, and I went to the Republican convention, and Frank Ferenkopf graciously uh, 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 assented to an interview uh, with me, and we did not know at that time who uh, uh, the nominee was going to pick for his vice president. Everyone was speculating about it at the convention. And I bet Frank doesn't remember this story. And I went to interview him in, 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 his, in his trailer. And uh, here I am. I just started covering politics. Young kid. And he's giving me this. God, the big Frank Faircock, big Nevada. Yeah, made right. good. He's the head of the party and everything. And he's going to give me And so he starts talking. And I, so I asked him, of course, who, who's he going to pick for vice president? And he says, God, you know, I, I'm not sure, John. But you know what? What would happen if, just say, he picked a young senator from a Midwestern state and he went on and on, and he perfectly described Dan Quayle. And I said, oh my god, I have just started covering politics. My first night, this guy's giving me the exclusive of all time. He's letting me know. And so I rush back, and I'm calling, and, and, and I call, and I call my editor, and I got a great, so we got to put it out right away. And he says, yeah, it just came across on the wire. <laughs> and I wanted to... He, he was really a cub reporter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I wanted to kill him, I swear to God. <laughs> Let me, let me just make a couple comments about, about, about uh, who's, who's going to win. Uh, and uh, uh, I, listen, I, I think McCain, I think Frank's right, McCain's going to win it uh, uh, on the Republican side unless Romney finds some way uh, uh, to buy it. And he does have enough money, so who knows uh, what could happen. Uh, but, but I do think McCain is, is going to win. I do think McCain, I've always thought McCain is the strongest candidate uh, the Republicans have, and I think he worries uh, the Democrats greatly. Um, I'm going to cop out like Frank on the, on, on the Democratic side, but there's something fascinating going on uh, here because most people, as Frank said two months ago, maybe a month ago even, still thought that Hillary was the odds-on favorite. Oh yeah, this Obama guy is a bit of a phenomenon, but he's never. But then you've got to start looking at, 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 at some things. Uh, wherever this guy goes, wherever he goes, people go crazy. And, and across all demographic groups, including actually to some extent Latinos, but now he's still got a huge problem uh, with the Hispanic vote. Uh, but you look at what happened on Super Tuesday, and California is the instructive example. There were a ton of absentee ballots uh, early in California that were filed early. They had these crazy rules in some of these states. When all of those came in, Barack Obama was behind by 23 points in California. When you tallied what happened on election day, he ended up losing by 10 points. And so that happened in a lot of places. People who make up their minds late go with Obama if they're, if, if they're exposed to him. And what no one's mentioned, and, and what, the reason that Hillary Clinton is so worried are these numbers, 32 and 13. 